All right, what's up, YouTube? This is Box Away. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, okay? I uh, wanted to speak on Annie Louise. Uh, again, I covered the fight, so a lot of you guys are going to be hearing what I've said already in the uh, long uh, live coverage video that I did. Um, but I did listen to some post-fight interviews by Ruiz, and they were very, very disappointing, Okay. I uh, was one to believe that Ruiz strategically gained weight, okay? I was, uh, in the beginning, you know, I believe he was cutting down in weight. I mean, you had plenty of time to prepare for this fight. You had plenty of time. You had months to prepare, all right? So, you guys heard a breakdown. You know, I thought when I did that breakdown, I made the assumption that Ruiz was going to be lighter. You know, based on these pictures, these photos that I've seen, uh, I thought he was going to be lighter. Uh, I thought he wanted to be quicker, you know, being that Josh was cutting down the weight too. I thought he wanted to be lighter on his feet. I just thought he was going to be better prepared. You know, I know he got paid. Um, this was by far his biggest payday. You know, we we know that he, he was talking about taking care of his family and affording to take care of his family. Uh, we know that he was partying. Uh, you know that he bought his big house, his Rolls Royce, you know, his his jewelry. Uh, he became a celebrity for being Joshua. Okay. But even with all the celebration, I still thought that he had enough time to prepare. And he was going to cut down and wait and prove to the people that, uh, you know, that that first fight wasn't no fluke it wasn't no accident you know he comes in at the weigh-in and, and you know at first instance it didn't look like he was heavier you know wearing those certain clothing doesn't really make you look heavier like that and even in the when even back when he was in a dresser room and he had that black shirt on and he was interviewed i mean he was speaking to canelo he looked big but he didn't look any bigger than what we see in the mass, you know? I thought maybe he was around the same weight, you know, even with the scales and everything. I, I thought maybe they would have been, might have been possibly messing around with the scales. I didn't know what to really believe. I don't know if he was playing head games. But when he showed up to the ring, man, and the fight began, it was clear to me that he was really 283 pounds. And I had to say, I was like, all right, is this guy strategically coming in that weight because he's looking through, walk right through Joshua? You know, I said all of this in a live video. Was he looking to just walk through Joshua because he knew Joshua was going to move and, you know, stick and move and stuff and fight light on his feet? Was he looking to just walk through him and just bring the pressure and take some hits, you know, be more durable? Was he looking to do that? But at the very, very, the very end of it all, all I heard was apologies, how he didn't prepare, how he wasn't listening. That's all I heard. And I'm saying to myself, wow. Like, it could happen. You know, a lot of people are comparing this to Buster Douglas and how he gained weight. It can happen to anyone. You know, people get money and mistakes are made. So I get it. I'm not going to bash the guy. But being that he's a Mexican fighter, you know, you're fighting for your people. You guys are so proudful. You know, prideful, I'm sorry. I would just expect more from him. He had a lot of people looking up to him because of his win. And there's a lot of people that thought that you were such a superior boxer that you were going to win. I mean, maybe you even believe that. You know, I was listening to a video by uh, Hat Man. Shout out to Hat Man. Great boxing channel. And he was basically saying that you know, some of the real Joshua haters were just sitting here saying how 
far superior his boxing IQ was and stuff like this. And that, you know, I've heard people say that, and I've read people in my comments and my breakdown that thought Ruiz was going to win within a few rounds, which was crazy, you know? They thought that Ruiz was going to knock AJ out even quicker this time around, you know? And maybe some of that affected him. I think that's also possible. I think it's a lot of it. I think it mostly it had to do with the money and fame. Like, mission accomplished. You have enough money now. You made even more money in a rematch because they had to renegotiate that contract to make it work for everyone. You know, because these guys wanted more money. So they made it work. This guy got paid. And I'm sure he's a lot better off. He's a lot well off now. But I'm sure... He underestimated his opponent, just like Joshua underestimated him. I'm sure a little bit of that happened. You know, when people are saying that you are just such a superior boxer, when you keep hearing that, I mean, I hear it all the time. I read it all the time. I'm sure that may affect you mentally. You probably going in there like, I could probably beat this guy again. I know exactly what to do. But worst case scenario, I lose. At least I still made, I'm still $20 million richer than I was before. If you total everything up, I'm sure he's made over 20, 20, 20, 22 million dollars or whatever. You know, he wasn't expecting this to happen. Now, from this point on, I said before that He's always going to be a cash cow at this point. You know, because these two fights with Joshua, especially the second one, big pay-per-view numbers, biggest fight of the year, ends up being the biggest fight of the year. Most anticipated fight. You have a whole new fan base. You are popular. Okay? So you're always going to be able to get good fights. You're always going to sell out crowds. You have a whole fan base behind you that weren't there before. Yes, you was a Mexican fighter, but these guys didn't follow you like that. Let's be honest. He is a star. There's a lot of people that didn't follow him like that. So what he needs to do, he has to sit here and figure out what exactly he wants from here on. Do you have the hunger to continue to fight? That's what he needs to figure out. Do you still have the hunger? Do you still care? Do you want time off? You know? you. That's what Andy needs to figure out. Did you make enough money to a point that you feel like you don't want to do this anymore? If you don't want to do it anymore, that's okay. But you have to be realistic with yourself. You can't Get influenced by what fans or family or friends say. You got to figure out, do you really want to compete at an elite level? Because even with this loss, you're still the name. Anyone you fight, wherever it's at, whether it's here in Brooklyn or New York, or is it down in Texas? Is he going to play out in L.A.? Wherever you go, people are going to come and show up. You just got to figure out if you're dedicated or not. What exactly do you want to accomplish? You already made history. That's what Andy needs to figure out before he even starts a next training, before he even signs a piece of paper or contract saying that this guy is my, this guy or this guy, this guy is, a, is my next opponent. Before he even fig figures that out, he has to see whether or not he's into it no more. Don't be that guy. I hope. He won't become that guy that falls back and realizes in a year or a couple years from now that because the money's getting low, now he wants to come back to boxing. I hope he doesn't become that guy. I hope he either retires from the sport, makes some great investments, starts some businesses, whatever, and make money without having a fight. Or if you still have the hunger, Keep fighting, seeing if you can get another title shot in the future. Because like I said in the other video, I want to see fights against 
Luis Ortiz, Adam Kanowski. Okay, I want to see those fights. I want to see those fights. You know, I would love to see Andy Ruiz against Dilly or White, but only if he's at his best shape. You know, I want to see a fully prepared Andy Ruiz. So while you're figuring that out, in the meantime, enjoy. Enjoy the money. Take care of your family. Do, you know, maybe you need some time. But don't retire and then come back a couple years, two, three years from now because you're broke. That's what we don't want to happen because we've seen that happen plenty of other times. You know, even Marcus Maidana, which I've said in this channel, hopefully he doesn't come back a few. Who He's trying to come back. You know, he got those two big paychecks from Floyd Mayweather fights. Now he's trying to come back. All right, so, um, yeah, Andy needs to figure that out because he still has a lot of potential. He still has a lot of ta talent. And, and to be honest, he was always good to watch. This is the first time I see Andy Ruiz fight, and I didn't like the fight. And we're not going to take all the credit from AJ here. I'm just talking about Andy here. Andy could have been much better against AJ, who was probably at his best in this fight. And this is why he got dominated by points. He got totally outclassed because he wasn't even at his best fighting another man that was at his best. A guy that no one, not no one, but many didn't even expect you to win the first time around. But since you did, this guy fully prepared for you. And you fully disregarded everything and slept on your opponent and ended up losing on points easily. Yeah, you didn't get knocked out, but you got outclassed. You got outboxed. You made it look you made it look easy for AJ. You know what I'm saying? Not a good look. And you disappointed fans, your people. You got to figure out what you're going to do. But it's life. It's life. We all been through that. I've been through it. You know, we all, we all make mistakes. You know, big things change in your, your life so fast. And then you just don't know how to do it. You don't know how to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? You get all this money. You got all these new friends. Sometimes you got to go through it. All right. So you can either bounce back or stay retired. But don't do in between. If you're going to come back, come back in shape. Come back proper. All right? So I'm going to leave it at that, man. I I, I I would like to see Andy back in the ring. But I only want to see uh the real Andy Ruiz back in the ring. You shouldn't be heavier than you were on a fight you took on short notice. You know? You shouldn't be heavier than that. 20 pounds heavier than that. You know? Almost 20. All right? So I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.